to jama'a masu kallon mu assalamu alaikum baka mu da haka sannan ku da saki kasancewa tare da mu a cikin wani sabon shirin namu shirin buleka fada gwamnatin jihar Zamfara Mulaka, Father Gomet and Jazz and Farai, Shiri Nedaki, or Karen Tataramoku, Yellow Abu won the Kiwakana, a Father Gomet and Jazz and Farai. Dama Jaha by Kida Shide one and Shiri. Official may be a gum the shower. Count wide the count al Uma. The Kuma hurt at the injury do. Al Haji is a lani buffa at Oki knowing Kaumoku. The Gana and Gidan television now stand that voice. Sunana Bella Mohammed do Sarah when the knees and governed the sugar. A mark of him which gets king sugar. Mushaka tried on now.
jaro gwamnan jihar zamfara dr bello mohammed matol lamaradin ya kaddamar da rabon takin zamani akan farashi mai sauki da yake jawabi mai baiwa gwamnati shawara a hukumar bunkasa noma honorable yusuf jafar rawayya ya bayyana ingancin takin da za su raba ga kadan daga jawabin sa wala ya mamaye mayan baki barka da zuwa wannan wuri musamman zuwa ga mai daraja gwamna wanda ba dan shi ba da wannan abu ba zai kasance ba kuma wannan kokarin shi ne dajin cewa shi ne nuna damuwa da abundant mano ma ko kuma talaka na farashin ka ciki ya dauki lokaci za a ga cewa kamar an makara ga wannan aiki amma ba makara ake ba wajen wanda za a yi a samu taki na keki na kware wanda za a ba jama'a shine mai girma gwamnati ya tafa da tashi wanda yake har ya kai ga sai da ya kasance magana da kasashen waje aka samu aka yi magana da wani kamfani ya zo shirye wannan taki wanda yake shirye a hakawo kuma kamar wanda muka san tsari na da ana ba da wasu yan kudi sai an gama aikin gona a cika to bana abin ba haka yake ba kudi kasa taki kasa wanda shi kuma taki bai da lokaci do wanda an mano bai da kware bai da lokaci a ce ai shi akwai lokaci da a a taki ko yau shi mutun na yan sai dai dan ya aje in lokaci ne zo ya amfane da shi shi yasa ma ga cewa dan ko yanzu za a kaddamar da shi dai dai ne a kaddamar da shi dan kuma wannan taki da rawo gari ko wani a kalla gwamnati ya zama ta akan dubu 30 da wani abu amma duk da haka mai girma ya ce a sai a kan dubu 15 biyar ta ta ga wannan an ta yaba kama al'umma kare da gaske wannan za ta Allah sa a bai zama alheri ga jama'an mu kuma ga wani ruwa ka sani akwai sabon alluka da yadda shi mai girma gwamna za mu zo da tsari don mu zama cewa ba wai sai da da mara dai mano ma za su noma ba za mu yi kokari mu zo da mano ma har da ma'aikatan gwamnati masu sha'awa aikin na mara ne za mu yi amfani da gwamnatin da gwamnati sake suke da su don mu je mu karbe irin nan mu da ba da shi haya ga mano mara ne kuma za mu kawo ƙararren mutane wanda za su aza mutane abin da ya kamata a yi kuma mai tsana da ira irai irin su tumatur irin su kankana da sauran su wanda shi an mai sauki wanda za a yi aikin rani kuma da ba su amfana sannan kai mano bai ka dauka kai gidan ka ba sai ka taika su cewa ne ba saboda haka wannan tsari za mu da shi insha Allah kuma ita mai girma gwamna an Allah ya so wannan aiki za a fara shi da wannan lokaci mai za insha Allah muna fatar mai girma gwamna Allah ya tsare mana kai Allah ya tsare ma ji agora Allah ga ya waka da dubara ka Allah ya rafa da kishi da al'umma zan fara Allah ya sa wannan ya zama alheri gare ka duniya da lahira tun a farkon jawabin sa Gwamnati jiha Dr. Bella Muhammad Matawal Lamaradun ya bayyana farashin da gwamnati za ta raba takin akan naira 115 ga kadan daga jawabin sa
Na kadumma sun taki kuma inda gaskiya ke kuma zai yi ma tsakanin shi da Allah sai ya zo ya biya kudi dubu goma sha biyar a bashi taki an taki taki a kwanshi a kasa ba ka muna roƙo Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ba mu da mana albarka kuma ko da wannan lokaci ya wuce taki za a ci gaba da sana'a sanin yanzu ga bayanin da ke gare mu nan gaba Allah da ya san ko da taki zai kai abin da mahara da ya tunani taki zai kai har ko na fi ko sittin saboda ka saye ne ba banna bace a ko shi ana amfani da shi a noma rani ma muna kokarin mu cewa ba mu bada gobe ki yin haya ga ma'aikatan gwamnati domin ganin cewa sun yi noma kuma tsarin da mu zo shi da ma'aikatan gwamnati da ma'aikatan gwamnati kake kana yi a baka taki a yi a cikin a cikin albashin ka wannan shi ke kawo sauki da ma'aikatan gwamnati to haka muna kokarin mu ga cewa su kansu ma'aikata sun sa kansu cikin wannan hidima ta noma ba tare da cewa su ma sai sun zo su yi ba da gwamnati za ta yi wannan tanadi domin tabbatar da cewa kullu ya huskanci wannan noma domin samu albarka da kuma abinci ya wadata a jihar Allah muna godiya Allah ya saka da ne da mun ya ga koma fada gwamnatin jihar Zamfara ministan kula da walwala da jin dadin al'umma hajjia sadiya umar faruk ta kaddamar da shuruka na musamman inda shirin ya hada da noman kifi trader money money market da kuma kiwon kifi a dukkan kananan hukumomi 14 da ke fadin jihar ga jawabin ta kamar haka this very unique event of flagging of of the numerous federal government programs in Zamfara state these programs are being carried out by my ministry we are flagging of the grants for vulnerable groups we are flagging of our cheap program of the market money, farmer money, and trader money. We are also flagging off 
the support for our internally displaced persons where we are supporting them with livelihood a support of 50,000 naira for them to be able to fend for themselves. Your Excellency, we are also flagging off the digitized payment of the conditional cash transfer in this state. We are also flagging off our support as regards to the floods that occurred in this state by uh, providing food and non-food items. So, Excellency, these programs are all programs designed to uplift the standard of living of our citizens and our indigents. Your Excellency, since the inception of the administration of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, he has specially and effectively designed these national social investment programs, which is aimed at giving a lifting hand to many of the poorest and vulnerable citizens in our country. This program is being implemented, Your Excellency, as you are very aware, in partnership with the state government as a clear testimony and demonstration that Mr. President is committed to work with all levels of government to address the issue of poverty, which today is the core developmental issue confronting us as a nation. Your Excellency, let me state that since the inception of this administration, the average uh, national poverty level, according to the National Bureau for Statistics, was 70%. But in view of that, the federal government paid more attention in investing and generating solutions to address the plight of the poor and vulnerable, despite the, despite the very harsh and hard economic challenges the administration uh, inherited as a then. And today, Your Excellency, I'm very happy to inform you that since the decision to evolve the National Social Investment Program in 2016, which is a core strategy for poverty reduction and enhancing social inclusion amongst our people, especially the women and youth, the poverty level now is reduced to just about 40%. That is really a big milestone that this administration has uh, inherited. So, Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to flag up these programs, as I mentioned. And in Zone for the State, the grant for vulnerable groups of 20,000 Naira it's going to be given to about 5,616 uh, beneficiaries. The one that we are disposing, and we are disposing this across all the local government areas in the state. The other grant or support we are giving on the independent monitors, Your Excellency, I forgot to mention, we are also training, we have trained 100 and about 40 independent monitors in this state that are going to monitor our programs and we are going to be giving them stipends of 20,000 Naira, up 20,000 Naira monthly. In this uh, grant, Your Excellency, we are also giving this intervention to our persons with disabilities as well as our senior citizens in the state. The elders who are also giving them support today. On the chief program, Your Excellency, the products of the trader money is a loan, but soft loan given to beneficiaries of the trader money, market money, and farmer money, ranging from fifty thousand naira to three hundred thousand naira. And this uh, loan is interest free and collateral free. Your Excellency. Today also, as I mentioned, we are flagging up the payment of one of 50,000 Naira grant to
to selected uh, IDPs under the Youth Empowerment and Social Support Operations, YESO. And this is with the objective, Your Excellency, of enhancing their entrepreneurial activities of self-employment, create wealth, and generate jobs for others. In Zamfara State, Your Excellency, I'm very happy to inform you, Zamfara State is one of the leading states uh, in this uh, program. Uh, Zamfara State has participated very actively, and today we are supporting 800. 800 IDPs will today be granted this 50,000 Naira. Amongst them will also be persons living with disabilities. The disguise payment, yes, uh, Your Excellency, as I mentioned, on the conditional cash transfer, the import of this exercise is to create room for reliable, transparent, accountable, and accessible database for seamless disbursement of this cash to our beneficiaries. This is also going to address the issue of social inclusion. What that means is that these beneficiaries are now banked through the banking system. They can have bank accounts, they can go to the bank and deposit, and they can also withdraw cash from the bank or from the wallet money agents. Your Excellency, with the complementary efforts of your government and other stakeholders on this national social investment program, the target uh, uh, beneficiaries and many more citizens of this state will be on their way out of poverty to prosperity and we will ensure Allah as a nation remain on track of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty by the year 2030 as envisioned and designed by His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari. Finally, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I must appreciate your immense contribution and partnership for ensuring that the National Social Investment Program in some further state is effectively implemented. And furthermore, I wish to thank you for your support to ensure that this event held here today is also successful. To all the stakeholders present here, we also deeply, deeply appreciate your support and thank you for joining us today and urge each and every one of us to continue with this commitment of fighting poverty in our great country and in our great state, San Francisco State. It is with pleasure that I welcome you all to this great occasion, which marks a milestone in our collective efforts towards improving the standard and well-being of the poor and vulnerable population in our dear state. The presence of the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Haja Sadia Omar Farouk, and her endurance has evidently signified the commitment of our father, President Muhammad Buhari, and his passion towards ensuring better Nigeria. On behalf of the Zafar State Government and the people of Zafar State, permit me to sincerely appreciate and extend our profound gratitude to Mr. President Babo Buhari for all the social and laudable efforts towards building a better Nigeria. I must also commend our beloved Governor, His Excellency the Executive Governor of Zafar State, Dr. Bello Muhammad Batal Lamarad, for his continuous support to our ministry while discharging our humanitarian services in the state. I want to once again welcome the Honorable Minister and her entourage to her hometown and also wish her a successful official engagement. Thank you. Deke Jawabi Gomna Jahazam Farada Tavella Mohammed Motor Lomaradun Yai Parentiki Yakumayugo dia Gakatanda Gajawabin sa In the name of Allah, the most beneficial, the most good, all form of prayers are due to Allah, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, who made this possible for us to be here today. To join the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, 
Baja Sadia Mataru for the blood of our distribution of federal government cash grants to vulnerable group, roll out of government enterprises empowerment program and the digitalized payment for conditional cash grants by I wish to begin by welcoming the Honourable Minister and I encourage to the state to be. The Minister has constantly proved herself as a Uzi daughter of our state. <laughs> this is notably evident through the series of federal government intervention programs under her ministry, which our state has immensely benefited from. We have also seen this through her friendly disposition to this administration at all times. I understand that the minister will be here to carry out the following in this turn. He's here to hand over our food and non-food items to IDPs by agency and I have called Lima. He's here also to plug up the distribution of the federal government cash grant to the vulnerable groups. She is rolled out of the government enterprises and empowerment program to beneficiaries market money and trader money on the day here in the summer. The digitalized payment for conditional cash transfer, the lack of the national sensitization exercise, and the handover of utensils for the national homegrown school building program and uh, Onboarding of stream two of the independent monitors. The plan of payment of a non of a one off grants to IDPs under the youth empowerment and social support operations. This is in addition to unveiling several of the other programs and activities carried out in the state by the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Cases in the state. This enables a bold step to mitigate poverty and economically empower our people addressing the current social and economic difficulties required and uh, concerted effort by the government and the neighbors. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this intervention is coming as a complement to the state government's numerous effort in providing relief and succor to the people of the state. As part of our modest effort in that regard, we have run out many social intervention programs to mitigate the economic shock arising from the problem of punditry and in recent times, the rising inflation all over the country and all over the world in general. We have been insisting, we have been assisting our women through the empowerment package under the office of the First Lady of the State in conjunction with the Minister of Women Affairs and Children Welfare under the scheme. Financial grant were offered to women across the particular government areas of the state. Within the last three years, the scheme has reached out to over 30,000 women and alhamdulillah it is possible. <laughs> it's all over for everybody to see. Equally, of note, it is my, it is my administration we have other interventions under the, the State Social Protection Agency for the last three years of my administration. Our state worship, we have implemented various programs under ZAFA, ZAKAR, ZAKAR, ZASEF, and many other government social services. I want to assure the Minister and indeed the good people of the state that we shall not relent in our effort continue to provide the critical and the selfless leadership that will bring social and economic relief to our people. At these junctions, it is my singular honor and privilege to invite the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Haja Sadia Omar Farouk, for the plan of the, and distribution of the federal government cash grant to vulnerable people and the group and roll out of our government enterprises empowerment program and a digitalized payment for conditional cash transfer is a price I appeal to the beneficiaries of these packages to make the best use of whatever is given to them. 
And should also extend maximum cooperation to the official handling the exercise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guard protect us and to pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take you back home safely. And thank you very much for to masu kallon mu duka duka anan muka kawo ƙarshen shirin namu na wannan mako wannan shirin ofishin mai bayarwa gwamnatin shawara kan wayar da kan al'umma da kuma hurda da yan jaridu Alhaji Zailani Baffa ya dauki nauyin kawo muku amma da dan dukkan nan abokan aiki da suka yi hidima domin ganin shirin ya zo muku kamar yadda aka saba musamman jagoran shirin Alhaji Ibrahim Garba Tinau sai ni da na shirya na gabatar Bella Muhammad Dosara ke ce da ku mahadu a wani mako